Pakistan's counter-terror department has confirmed in its preliminary report that the blast in Quetta on Saturday that killed 27 people was a suicide terror attack. Dozens of people injured in the attack are in various hospitals in Quetta. State funeral prayers were held for the 16 soldiers who were also killed. Army Chief General Asim Munir, the Federal Minister of the Interior, the Governor and Chief Minister of Balochistan and other military and civilian officials were also present. The Inspector General of Police for Balochistan said the target of the suicide attack carried out by the Balochistan Liberation Army, the BLA, was army personnel from the infantry school. And this is one of several recent attacks by the BLA and other rebel groups in the province. More on the attack in this next report. Take a look. A security camera captured the moment a deadly blast went off at a busy train station in southwest Pakistan on Saturday. It killed at least two dozen people and injured more than 40, many of them critically. That's according to police, who said they suspect it was a suicide bombing. This eyewitness described people running around in chaos. Some people were injured, some with blown up legs, some with blown up arms and hands, he said. A separatist militant group, the Balakh Liberation Army, claimed responsibility for the attack in a statement emailed to Reuters. The group wants independence for Balochistan, a province of about 15 million people that borders Afghanistan to the north and Iran to the west. It's the biggest of several ethnic insurgent groups battling the government, saying it unfairly exploits the province's rich gas and mineral resources. Balochistan's inspector general of police said the attack on the train station in the provincial capital Quetta was targeting army personnel. Pakistan is grappling with a surge in strikes by separatist groups in Balochistan. In August, at least 73 people were killed after militants attacked police stations, railway lines and highways.